I'm here with Sandy, and Sandy is the person who did the installation on my brand new lithium batteries and a gorgeous solar panel. And in this video, she's going to do a walkthrough and show you exactly what she installed. And this way, you can see what a lithium battery setup looks like with solar panels. Here are our two Xantrax batteries. Each one is 240 amp hours. Here's these fabulous little on-off buttons, and you, you have the lights that give me an indication of how much, uh, how well they're charged, but also that they're on. And so, you know, if we were to turn it off, the lights would go off, so that's a really nice feature. And look at how heavy this is. I mean, this is all metal. I mean, Xantrax has put an amazing amount of investment in making excellent lithium batteries. They even have what's called RVC or CAN bus where you can hook this into other systems and have it like a Firefly or have it controlled from a central location. So, I mean, these batteries are super capable and give you lots of options. Then on this side, I installed a separate switch for just the house battery power and a separate switch for just the inverter to battery connection. Using these two switches will cut all the power off from the coach and the inverter off of these batteries so there won't be any parasitic loads when she puts it in storage and parks and so then she can just leave this on because nothing's going to drain it down. Then up here these are your solar controller, solar panel and solar controller switches. So this one is an actual switch that you can disconnect the solar panel power from the Victron solar controller. And this is a circuit breaker because you have to have a circuit breaker on the output of the solar controller to the battery, which I made a mistake there. <laughs> I was tired yesterday. Uh, this controls the power from the solar controller to the battery. And here's a little warning label that I made for Randy. You must disconnect solar panel power Anytime you're going to think about turning these batteries off or disconnecting the batteries because the batteries are where the power needs to be stored. So if you don't turn the solar panel power off and you were to turn these batteries off, then that power just gets dumped on the solar controller and it's not made for that. It can actually burn up. So I put a little warning note here so she always remembers when she's going to do anything with these batteries, flip this switch off. All right, so here's her battery and inverter and solar control panel area. This is what I call the jewelry box of the little Guy Max trailer. Again, we've got these two beautiful Xantrax lithium 240 amp hour batteries. We've got that matching. Notice how Xantrax matches their inverter with their batteries. I mean, that's beautiful. I love it. So there's the 3000 watt Xantrax Freedom XC Pro inverter. Plus it has a 150 amp battery charger. So if you plugged into shore power and you needed to charge these batteries up fast, you can set that to 150 amps and be fully charged in, you know, under three hours. So then we have the Victron Solar Controller, the MPPT 100-30. So that's 100 volt max with a 30 amp volt max output, which like I said, her 400 watts of solar will put out just a little bit over 27 amps. So that, that's good margin. And then this big boy right here is the Victron Lynx Power In, and it's a very heavy bus bar system, but I like it because it's so compact. I mean, you know, when you're doing these installs, you have to have bus bars for the positive and negative connections. So you either buy a whole bunch of little bus bars and you're, they're screwed in the wall all over the place and it doesn't look very organized, or you can buy this really nice, and it's about the same price which is, you know, amazing. So for about the same price as buying, you know, separate little parts, you can just buy this nice one system and it has the ability for fuse holders. So you can do all your fusing right inside. You've got all your uh, negative and positive connections. It's just a, a super nice organized way to do your electrical upgrades. Okay, so I think that's uh, everything in the jewelry box. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty.
All right, so then we come over here. The first thing is this is the WFCO 89 slash 50. This is the demarcation. This is the inverted bus. And this is the shore power bus. And you can see all the breakers are labeled. So on shore power, we've got the shore power 30 amp incoming breaker. Then we've got the takeoff breaker that feeds the input to the Xantrax inverter. And then here's her water heater breaker. We didn't need that to be on the inverted breaker. And then on the inverted side, we have the inverter out. 30 amp breaker feeding this bus and then we have her front outlets her rear outlets her air conditioner and microwave all that is powered directly from the batteries so that's oh when she's not on shore power so that's what she can use when she goes boondocking and then uh, we just moved her fuses uh 12 volt connections that were on the old uh, fuse panel we moved those and see it's it's not a lot bigger than your your old one so that fit perfectly and then inside, we've got all the wiring, uh, but one of the important features we added is this uh, watchdog surge protector. You can see it lit up there. This surge protector is Bluetooth, so Randy no longer needs to have that surge protector dangling from the power pedestal out there. She just plugs in her cord. You know, she's only got her cord now to deal with. And this protects the power that's coming from any shore power connection, it evaluates it to make sure it's good enough to power the things you use in the trailer. If it doesn't like that, the dog face turns red and says, you know, something's wrong with the power. We're not letting it in. So then uh, you call up the app. Their app is great. It tells you what's going on. You can uh, look into the condition and if you clear the condition it gives you a little button that says reset it'll reset itself and let the power through if it's good so that's a great addition so here's her under the refrigerator area <laughs> also replaced the zamp solar controller that was there on the wall with this xantrax bluetooth this is the part that makes the Bluetooth feature for the Xantrax inverter. So we installed that in the place of the Zamp solar controller. All right, and here's our beautiful new Bouge RV SIGs, 200 watt solar panels. Each one is 200 watts, so that's a total of 400 watts. And these panels are a new design where basically each cell is in parallel so these panels will actually produce power if they're like three quarters shaded. And I don't know how familiar you are with solar panels, but like the solar panel that was on your little guy Max trailer before, I mean, if you just put your finger on it to shade it, it would go zero. It wouldn't produce anything. So the fact that these can produce power in the shade or some shade to me is a game changer because, you know, of course you don't want to always park in a canopy of trees whenever you're camping. So, you know, like in this setting, you have some open sky, so you're going to get some solar power production if you needed it to keep your batteries charged even though they're slightly shaded i just think that's big benefit and it fits perfectly between your molding and your stargazer window and i think they look great oh they're beautiful uh, and it wasn't very hard to to put on i mean the, those panels come already pre-taped so all you have to do is clean the roof really well and stick them on i really can't be easier so i'm glad you you guys decided to go with those because i think you know they're definitely worth the investment they are more expensive but like i said they're worth the investment with ease and the fact that you're going to have power even when you're in shady conditions that's going to be a game changer for you just to be able to you know you get more solar power now than what you had before i think it really um jazzes the camper up it looks <laughs> kind of sporty yeah i think so too <laughs> Sandy is a wealth of information when it comes to lithium batteries. She's done over 100 lithium battery installations. And in this video right here, she answers a lot of questions that you probably are asking yourself if you're considering upgrading from a lead acid or an AGM battery to a lithium battery. So click on this video right here and I'll see you over in this video next. That's a wrap.